Welcome to TV2 Sports Talk on DMG Channel 2 from Time Warner Cable. I'm WJER Radio Sports Director Bill Morgan. Coming up on this week's show, we begin this year's adventure down the basketball trail as we talk New Philadelphia Lady Quaker Hoops with head coach Matt Vole. New Philly had an outstanding 2014-2015 campaign as they won a league championship and a district championship before bowing out in the Division I Sweet 16. For the best coverage of high school basketball all season long, keep it right here on TV2, play-by-play -play coverage, TV2 Sports Talk, and more. We'll talk with Coach Vole coming up next on Channel 2 from Time Warner Cable. Just wanting to be a, you know, a police officer, I knew this was a great start, and it turned out to be a fantastic one. Just be able to actually see what you're doing, what you're working on, and understand how you can take one thing and turn it into something else. We got to creatively use skills and academics and see how we can place them into our fields. It was pretty much I had the key to open the door, and that was from Buckeye. The sound of silence and cars were cutting like knives in a fist fight. And I found you with a tear in your eye, your head in the curtains, and heart like the Fourth of July. You swore and said, We are not, we are not shining stars. This I know, I never said we are. If you're lost and alone, or you sing. Like a stone, carry on. May your past be the sound of your fear on the ground. Carry on, carry on, carry on. We are, we are shining stars. Carry on, we are invincible. We are who we Yes, basketball season is underway. The girls' basketball season beginning last week, the boys' hoop season beginning this week, and happy to be talking girls' basketball with New Philadelphia head coach Matt Vole. Coach, certainly a season in review worth talking about as we begin our conversation. A tremendous year for you guys last year, winning a league championship, winning a district championship. When you look back on all that, what were the things you were most proud of? Just the fact that the kids bought in from day one. They had great intentions to uh, get better. They wanted to be good. They wanted to be players. Um, they uh, embraced some of the discipline and the, and the practice. Um, things that we did, you know, on a daily basis. We tried to prepare for every opponent to best our ability. Um, so, yeah, it was one of those things where if we can just validate the efforts, um, you know, whether the wins come or not, it's just the, the thought of uh, the kids, how they work together and how hard they prepared to have the best season they could. And, um, you know, that, that was, probably sticks with me. Obviously, that takes, you know, a lot of talent, too. And, uh, you know, hard work, hard work will beat talent when talent doesn't work hard. And we had a talented group of kids and, um, and, they, and they worked hard as well. So that's a great combination. It's something that we're trying to build on, you know, here for the upcoming season. Coach, when you talk about uh, getting that talent to work hard, a lot of times, and you've coached uh, for many years and done it successfully, boys basketball, girls basketball, when you have talent, uh, I think uh, sometimes the average fan thinks, well, you take the basketball, you roll it out, and hey, play. I guess how do you transition a talented team into one that works hard? Is that something that comes naturally depending upon your players, or do you have to coach them up in that regard? Well, I think a lot of times, uh, you know, depending on the, the type of team you have. Uh, the more more team, more experience you have, the more talented. You know, really, it's you, you, you sometimes just want to get out of the way. And you want to just put them in the best position and, and let their skills, you know, dominate the opponent. Um, and, and, and collectively let them, uh, you know, get that, you know, feeling that they're doing a lot of things together. Uh, provide them the ownership, give them, the, you know, that power and uh, they normally, those kids embrace that and they love that. Um, younger teams, it's a little different. You're trying to coach and, and uh, trying to still build the foundation and a lot of different facets. 
and uh, you probably overcoach a little bit more with an with a inexperienced team. New Philadelphia head girls basketball coach Matt Vole, our guest on Channel 2 from Time Warner Cable. Coach, that was last year. This is this year. Tell us about the, some of your returning players. Uh, not a lot of them because you've only got a couple of seniors. Uh, you had people graduate. You got an injury. So certainly uh, the people coming back that have experience, even at the JV level, important to you this year. Well, it starts with your seniors, and we have two good ones, Kendall Sabin and Mercedes Cantu. They both played junior varsity last year as juniors, but they were with the varsity on a daily basis. Um, they got some scrap time in a lot of games, but um, they, they're they mature, they understand the big picture. Uh, they know this is their last go around and um, you know, they're gonna do everything they can to get the younger kids to, uh, you know, you know, buy into the team thing and, and do the best we can as a group. And then our juniors who had a lot of experience last year with Sarah Har, Elena Harstein and Lexi Miller they played varsity as sophomores. So we had big expectations for, for that group. Unfortunately, Elena broke her foot, and didn't heal properly, had to have foot surgery, and probably gonna be out for the season. So, you know, that's, that, that's the kid who had the most experience coming back from a pretty critical spot, your point guard. And she led a, you know, a real good team last year to 25 wins. Coach, tell us about uh, Lexi and Sarah in terms of what you expect out of them in the front court this year. Well, Lexi, um, you know, they're both, well, both of them, they have to score. They have to do more. Um, you know, Lexi just gave us some minutes to defend the post last year. Sarah ran around and, and played, you know, tremendous defense and, and really kind of was a pace setter for us. Well, now you got to, you know, look at the other side of the ball or the court and on the offensive end, you know, they got to provide a lot of scoring for us and plus make the younger kids better. And that's, um, that's a challenge. New Philadelphia head girls basketball coach Matt Vole, our guest on Channel 2 from Time Warner Cable. I'm Bill Morgan, coach. We're going to talk about your younger players coming up in the second half of our conversation. Let's talk about the game of basketball in general. We mentioned uh, you've coached in this game for a while now, successfully boys, girls. I guess uh, maybe in the last 20 years, have there been big changes in the game in terms of the players themselves, strategies among coaches, or are things pretty much status quo? I think everything's dynamic and involving. Um, you know, whether I don't think the kids have changed. I, you know, I think you know we as adults might change, um, hopefully for the better. And um, but yeah, the game is uh, you know still three point line, um, no shot clock. You know, all the rules are pretty much intact. There's little tic tac things here and there, but um, yeah, it, it's pretty much um, you know evolving game. Um, you know. I think from I, I I coach them I coach the boys or the girls the same, <laughs> so and and that's always going to be the same approach I will always have. I think the girls provide a great great understanding and great feel for the game and and uh, I really enjoy it because you know you're never going to play it above the rim and fundamentals are so important and those are the things that as a coach you get it excited about in practice is when, when you see those kids make plays that you worked on in practice. Coach, one final question, I guess, comparing uh, girls basketball and boys basketball. You talked about the girls, obviously that game's not going to be played above the rim. Does that lend itself to the game itself being more perimeter oriented? Uh, yes or no in your opinion? Uh, yeah, um, I, yeah, I think that's, that's, that's been something that's evolved since the three point line has come around. So when you're talking about has the games changed, yeah. There's a lot more dribble drive, a lot more guard play, uh, a lot more open post. And um, yeah, the kids, you know, at the nowadays at the younger levels are always taught to be, you know, to play all five spots. You know, you don't want to just see, put a big kid and say, okay, put them on the block. That's going to be you for the next six, seven years. We want all those kids to have point guard skills. We want those kids to be able to, you know, square up on the wing and make a jab step and a shot fake. Um, yeah, so that from that standpoint, absolutely. Coming up as this week's show continues, we'll talk with the coaches, two seniors for this new season, Kendall Saban and Mercedes Cantu, and we'll talk more with the coach coming up a little bit later on. It's all on the way when our focus on New Philadelphia Lady Quaker basketball continues on TV2.
WJER and TV2 would like to introduce you to a new website, WJERTV2.com, where you can watch exciting high school football, soccer, and volleyball replays from TV2 Sports on your home computer, smartphone, or tablet. Also watch the latest episodes of TV2's original programming, Sports Talk, The Garden Girl, The Not-So-Shy Chef, Off the Record, and Medical Minutes, as well as catch up on local community news and search for local businesses. So make sure to check out the new WJERTV2.com community website where everything's local. Hi, I'm Elaine Miller with Naturally Green Cleaning Service. My company serves both commercial and residential clients. We do general cleaning, spring and fall, empty homes to get them move-in ready, and final cleans for new construction. We use eco-friendly cleaning products that leave your home or office fresh, clean, and safe for you, your family, pets, or coworkers. Our focus at Naturally Green is to provide excellent customer service paired with outstanding work to build a relationship of trust with you, our clients. Having served the area four plus years, we have had many referrals and testimonials that you can access on our website at www.naturallygreencs.com. Our work sells itself, therefore we have never had any contracts even with our largest commercial accounts. Call us today for your free quote and see what makes our company stand out. TV2 Sports Talk rolling on on DMG Channel 2 from Ty Warner Cable. New Philadelphia Lady Quaker Basketball, our focus this week, joined by the Quakers' two seniors for the 2015-2016 season, Kendall Saban and Mercedes Cantu. Mercedes, we'll begin with you. I know uh, you're one of the, the many athletes here at New Philadelphia High School on both the girls' and boys' side. You're a multi-sport athlete. You play softball in the spring, basketball at this time of the year. Which one is your favorite sport, or does that depend upon the time of the year? Um, it really does depend on the time of the year. Basketball is really my main focus during basketball season, and it's the most fun during basketball season. And then during softball season, obviously, that's my main focus, that I focus on the sport of the season. Kendall, tell us a little bit about how your roles have changed. You guys are seniors, we mentioned that, and this team graduated a lot of talent, lost some players due to an injury, one to a transfer. What is your challenge and focus this year headed into the season individually? Um, I have to make sure that I am a leader out on the floor. I need to make sure that everybody, we have a lot of freshmen playing varsity, obviously, because we have a lot of girls that are gone now. And we just need to make sure that they, their focus is where our focus is. And we have to be able to control the ball and just make sure that we are confident out on the court. The season opened over the weekend. You guys lost in overtime to Canfield. I guess uh, obviously you want to win every game, but what kind of positives do you take from that game in terms of some of the things you guys did well? Um, Canfield is a very good team. Our team, we worked very hard and together out on the court. Um, a lot, we have a lot of freshmen, obviously, and it was their first game at the varsity level and even high school level, and I think. A lot of nerves were there for them, and they kept their composure and played very hard, and it was just great. for. We've worked very well as a team, I think. Kendall Saban and Mercedes Cantu are our guests on Channel 2 from Time Warner Cable, our TV2 sports talk show this week, focused in on New Philadelphia Lady Quaker basketball. Mercedes, tell us about the Coach Bowl in terms of maybe some of the goals he set for you guys this year. Last year, a great season for Lady Quaker basketball, league championship, district championship. What does the coach talk to you about in preseason that you guys want to try to accomplish this year? Um, actually, his goals for us haven't really changed for what they were for us last year. Um, he still wants us to work, act, and play like champions. And he expects us to win the ECO ECOL, sorry, um, beat Dover, and then go on through the tournaments and eventually make our way up to states. Tell us a little bit about uh, you as a student. Obviously, uh, TV2 Sports Talk, we talk about sports, but uh, with you and Kendall being one of the seniors on this team, looking ahead to the spring, you'll blink your eyes, the holidays will be gone, graduation will be here. What are your plans for after graduation? Um, I'm hoping to maybe attend Ohio State University. That's one of my colleges that I would like to attend. Um, I would like to get into pre-med, major in biology, minor in Spanish, and hopefully, end up going to Africa to help out the children who can't get medical care that they can get. So, 
Mercedes can too. Our guest, Kendall Saban, also the two seniors on the new Philadelphia Lady Quaker basketball team for the 2015-2016 season. Now, interestingly enough, Kendall, you saying that uh, you and Mercedes share an interest in, in pre-med as a study. Yes, um, I am planning on becoming a dentist. Um, I'm not sure as of right now where I want to attend next year. Um, currently, I attend Kent State and I'm uh, College Credit Plus full time. But I'm, as I said, I'm not sure where I want to go, but I plan on becoming a dentist. Tell us a little bit about your basketball game, I guess, from the individual perspective, where you were when you came into this program as a much younger student athlete and where you are now as a senior. What are your biggest areas of growth, do you think? Um, I think that leadership is number one. Um, I think whenever I was younger, I was a lot quieter than I am now, and now it is my role to be the leader out on the court and to talk a lot and just make sure everyone needs to do or gets done what they need to do. And also, um, I'm now the point guard. In the previous years, I was more of a wing and a shooting guard, and now I just make sure I handle the ball and get the ball where it needs to go for our offense to be able to score. Mercedes, we just heard Kendall talking about her role. Tell us about your role, your challenges for this year in terms of getting this team to where they want to be with those goals that Coach Vole set. Um, again, leadership is a big thing. We, um, I need to try to make sure my team works together as a team so we can accomplish those goals um, because we can't accomplish our goals unless we work together as a team. So that's mostly the big role that I'm trying to play is be a big leader. When you talk about uh, the players this program lost from a year ago, some very talented seniors, and uh, Jada Carter and Tori Moreland, Elena Harstein, hurt and probably out for the year. I guess, how do you try and maybe mentally put that behind you and go ahead with the players that you have? Something that reminds me, uh, that's a lot easier said than done. Well, actually, the players that we have now can fill in the spots that we lost last year. We have great freshmen that have come, that have come up, and we've had other people that have taken a big step to fill in those roles. So we're doing pretty fine without them. But they we, were, I'm sorry, but they were good for our program, obviously. Uh, when you talk about uh, some of those freshmen and first year players, Kendall, uh, I know in that loss to Canfield, you guys went into overtime. Tell us a little bit about the play of uh, Aaliyah Currents. Uh, I know she was very good at the middle school level and had a great first varsity game. Um, Aaliyah scored 19 points versus Canfield. She is very aggressive and she gets the ball in the hoop. She gets the ball and she's determined to score. And I think that that is one of the main things that we need her to be able to do because we don't have Jada anymore and we don't have Tori and we don't have Larkin's defense that led us to being able to get easy points. And Aaliyah, she's definitely a great athlete and is a big, big part of our team. Quakers beginning this 2015-2016 campaign and these two young ladies leading the way for the black and red in this new year. Seniors Mercedes Cantu and Kendall Saban. Coming up as this week's edition of TV2 Sports Talk continues. We'll talk more with New Philadelphia head coach Matt Vole on DMG Channel 2. The sound of silence and cars were cutting like knives in a fist fight. And I found you with a tear in your eye, your head in the curtains, and heart like the 4th of July. You swore and said, We are not, we are not shining stars. This I know, I never said we are. If you're lost and alone, are you safe? Like a stone, carry on. May your past be the sound of your feet on the ground. Carry on, carry on, carry on. We are, we are, we are shining stars. Carry on, we are who we are. We are who we are. I think the hands-on aspect is going to give you an opportunity to explore, find out what you're good at, what you like, and you're not going to have mountains of debt. What you're going to have is a marketable skill that even if you don't love it, you can use that to pay to go on to college and get that degree. And we've got a number of students that do that. They're, they're very mature. I think we're a great hands-on exploration base.
continuing to talk New Philadelphia Lady Quaker basketball on DMG Channel 2. Happy to be rejoined by head coach Matt Vol. Coach, we just heard from uh, your two seniors. You talked about them, about your juniors. Tell us about uh, your underclassmen who are having to play key roles at the varsity level this year. Well, besides the four upperclassmen, we have five underclassmen. One sophomore, Meg Maurer, and then four freshmen. Aaliyah Currents, Kate McEwen, Rachel Anderson, and Sarah Stoneman. Um, all four of those kids were involved in a fall sport. Um, they're competitors. They, uh, they, they like the game, um, and they're tremendous athletes. And, you know, the youth is going to maybe get us here and there, but um, at the same time, I really like their savvy and what they're bringing to the table and making us just a better team. Coach, tell us about that opening game against Canfield. Uh, you guys went into overtime. You were telling me led late. So I guess uh, when you get an opportunity to be competitive, you always want the W, no question. But uh, I guess your thoughts on that opening game from last week. Well, from an effort standpoint, we couldn't be happier. Our kids uh, competed and uh, did everything they possibly can to do that, to win that game. Uh, we got off to a slow start, had a lot of turnovers, only scored six points in the first quarter. But once we settled down, got in a rhythm, and uh, started, you know, you know, sh moving the basketball, sharing the basketball, and hitting shots. We tend to relax, and once we're relaxed, and um, you know, the tension's not as tight for us, um, then they 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 made a lot of great plays. And we were up by six with two minutes to go, and we had Sarah Har and Lexi Miller uh, just fouled out, both of them. So we tried to finish it out, just couldn't get it done. But you know, I I kind of take the the blame for the loss without a doubt because. We just haven't had, you know, the time in the preseason yet here to, you know, just set the kids down and say, hey, situational basketball, we're going to do this, we're going to do this, we're going to do this. So we're learning on the job. It's on the job training. And, um, you know, that's the exciting part about it, too. The newness, the whole thing, um, it was fun. It was a great atmosphere at Camfield. Um, and they're a good team. So I felt real good about our performance, our effort. And, um, if that's the indication what we're going to get, um, it's going to be a great year for us. New Philadelphia Quaker girls basketball coach Matt Volar, guest on TV2 Sports Talk as we talk Quaker basketball during the second week of the 2015-2016 campaign for New Philadelphia. Coach, uh, it's been pretty well documented. We've talked about it during our radio broadcast. Uh, your dad was a collegiate coach at uh, Bowling Green. Uh, was there ever any doubt in your mind you were going to be a coach? Maybe did you think when you were younger, I'm not doing that, that's what dad does, or I am doing that, that's what dad does? What was your thought process as a younger guy? Uh, just being a gym rat, um, chasing him down the hallways at Delphi St. John's, wherever he went, you go. Uh, they Back in those days, they would have summer camps five straight weeks from 9 to 3, Monday through Friday. And that's where I was at. I was at, you know, in the gym with him. And um, if you know anything about Northwest Ohio, and if you know anything about Bob Arnson, um, who's a phenomenal coach, um, Delphi St. John's basketball was, you know, it was it was as good as there was. And growing up, you know, in that environment as a young kid, that probably sold me as much as anything is being around those games. Um, and, and seeing what, you know, he, what was going on there. And of course, my dad having all the success that he had, um, you know, so yeah, it was a natural thing. It's, it's what we wanted to do. I have two brothers, we both teach, or both of them teach and coach. They coach football and I coach basketball. Coach, when you talk about your team this year, what kind of goals did you set up for the Lady Quakers headed into the season? Uh, expectations are the same. Uh, we put out the same thing we do every year. Um, you know, first of all, we want to work, act, and play like champions. And that's always, always will be our goal. And then from there, you just got, you know, the list of, uh, you know, outcome-related goals. But um, really, to be honest, it's you got to enjoy the process and you got to enjoy the daily, you know, stuff that goes on. And, um, you know, you don't want those to control how, how things are. Um, you just want to control um, what you can do most with your team, and that's effort and working together. And so we don't, we don't try to make it bigger than what it is. Um, we want to enjoy the process. 
Coach, talk to us a little bit about uh, you off the court. Um, you, like everybody else, you've got a family, a son who's a freshman this year at New Philadelphia. Uh, one of your daughters uh, graduated from a Carrollton last year, and she's playing collegiately in her favorite sport. Yes, Kelsey uh, went up to Walsh University, um, is going to be a pre-physical therapy major, and um, played on the volleyball team this this fall, and that was her sport. Um, you know, that's, that's where she lit up. She played hoops, but volleyball was without a doubt the one that she seemed to like the most. And uh, she followed her dreams up there and, and had a good season. Um, Nate is a freshman, of course, here at New Philadelphia High School, getting adjusted to the halls and finding his classes. Uh, but all the kids here have um, been really good to, to my family. Um, my wife started teaching here this year at the high school. She's an intervention specialist teacher. Um, so, and my youngest is a fifth grader at Central Elementary. So we're very, very excited about being here. Um, we love it. It's, um, it's a great place, not only for uh, high school sports, high school athletics, um, you know, just for a family too, and, and for your kids to be a part of uh, New Philadelphia and what Quakers mean is it's huge. And, and every, it grows on you more and more, and, and like I said, we love it. Coach, as we wrap up our conversation, I want to bounce back uh, to your freshman, uh, specifically one who had a really nice game in her opener at the varsity level, Aaliyah Currents, uh, in points and led you in rebounding. Yeah, Aaliyah, um, you know, you got to come and check us out. Um, she does things that, you know, you just athletically, you cannot match. And um, she's a fun kid. She works at it. Um, she puts a lot of time in, 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 in the off season to, to become a good basketball player. That did not just happen overnight. Um, you, you can see kids that can run up and down the floor, and, but her skill level is going to match that athleticism um, here very shortly, and that's where she's working towards. And um, she's a good one, a real good one. Coach, thanks for your time. Best of luck all season long. Thank you. It is New Philadelphia head girls basketball coach Matt Vole as we kick off our basketball coverage for 2015-2016 with TV2 Sports Talk. Watch more TV2 Sports Talk episodes as we go to high schools around the county and watch play-by-play -play action all season long on TV2 Sports Talk as well. With Scott Robinson on your home for the best in television high school sports, DMG Channel 2 on Time Warner Cable.